we provided you beer yesterday, Bloody Marys today. I and think more we're beer later today. And more beer later. Which reminds me, tonight, the happy hour is a sponsored happy hour. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> Show up at the Union Square Ballroom. Is that the name of it now? Underneath the coffee shop. I bar. think we should give directions later, later. in the day. Well, I want to make sure everyone knows free beer is coming. People might drink too many Bloody Marys and forget. All right, fair enough. But free booze is coming again later. A lot of free booze. Yes, yes, it is. We we love uh, making this fun fact. We just we determined that the uh, the two things most tweeted about at this conference are Andrew Gelman and the food. <laughs> we have this great quote from R. D. Ewald: "This conference proves that the food at technical conferences doesn't have to suck." And for that, I think Stephanie, you were the one, the brains behind the the avo sandwiches. Who doesn't love avocado toast? <laughs> Cool. So we have a very busy day today, jam-packed of speakers. We started an hour later because we want to make sure everyone could wake up and get here. And I was supposed to end an hour earlier, and I messed up. So it's a full-length day still. Sorry. All right. Awesome for everyone attending. Right. Sorry for Steph and Jess and all of them. Um, before we do anything else, I just want to point out again: this conference comes from the meetup. So I'm not sure anyone checked their phones. I just announced the May meetup right now. May 15th. Harlan Harris, who was here yesterday, but I think he's coming here a little, he's going to be here in a few hours, so I'll announce it again when I see his face. Harlan Harris made his triumphant return to New York after living in exile in DC for a few years. So he will be our speaker talking about semi-parametric semi Bayesian methods. It's going to be really awesome. So May 15th, check meetup.com for that. I think that's all my housekeeping. We have a lot of fun stuff coming up, but before I do that, I'd like to turn this over to one of my co-organizers, Steph. Hey, everyone. Um, welcome back for day two of our third year of the New York R Conference. For those of you who were here yesterday, uh, welcome back for day two. Some of you are new faces. Um, so welcome to the New York R Conference. Um, just for those of you who may not remember or who may not have been listening to me yesterday, um, Workbench is a venture fund and community focused on enterprise technology. Um, and I really want to drive home that community piece because that was something I heard so often yesterday. Andrew Gelman spoke about this amazing R community, and that's why Workbench is so excited to partner with Jared and Lander Analytics to really bring you a community-focused conference um, where there are no hierarchies. So Workbench is all about that. So if you're interested in learning more about our community here that focuses across all enterprise technology, please find myself, find Jessica, who's in the back. Um, Mickey from my team is here somewhere, probably getting himself a Bloody Mary. Um, but please come talk to us if you have any questions, and we're excited to kick off day number two. Wonderful, thank you. You're welcome. So a lot more food is coming, and I think it's gonna be awesome what we have in store today. And then also we have a bunch more giveaways. I didn't give away enough of the stuff yesterday. I need to get it off of my desk before the conference ends. So we're gonna have a lot of stuff, like every break we're gonna give away some stuff. So. So keep tweeting. Yes, it is gonna, purely gonna be determined by tweets as judged by Mickey Graham. So cozy up to him. So with that, I think I'd like to introduce our first speaker, who I assume is in the building. Gave me a bit of a heart attack Woo! this morning. Speakers love making me worry where they are. So, Sandy. I was given, I said your name already, so everyone knows who you are, give a wave. I was in Cleveland a few years ago with Brian Lewis, and it was some members of the Cleveland Meetup, and they brought me to speak at the Cleveland R Meetup. And that's where I met Sandy for the first time. And since then, she's moved to New York. And she, the thing, fun thing about her is she likes going on 2,000-mile bike rides by herself. And she stays overnight in like creepy haunted tents and like places where like haunted mansions, right? And so she does these, these epic rides, and it's just amazing. And then she's also a, a founding member of both our bike ladies and our cat ladies. So our bikes and cats, can't get much better than that. So everyone please, warm welcome to Sandy. <laughs> 